What's up guys? This is the Broken Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Ted of War Let's Play as the United States of America and in this episode we are continuing to mop up the Maratha Confederacy so let's have at them. Uh, for the most part we have got well most of India is under our control we have a few raiders behind the lines that can that uh, continue to harass us and cause challenges uh, however we all that means is that we have to maintain the pressure, keep the slaughter going, uh, and we really need to start trying to make sure we head off enemy enemy reinforcements that are making their way into India. Because right now, we haven't got the front line sealed for the northwest frontier. So the problem is, we're kind of playing a bit of whack-a-mole right now, when really we need to be doing a bit more than that. Uh, right, let's get our... So we need, to play, we need to play a bit defensively here because the enemy is mostly, well, mostly consists of cavalry. So we just want to hold, re uh, repel the enemy cavalry attacks. And then, I mean, whatever we can pursue afterwards, pursue. But really it is about just making sure that we defend against the enemy attacks. Something like this. Howitzers. Howitzers is going to be ready to buy a quick climb. Really, I want them to fly a quick climb on the Gurkhas. Not overly bothered about the enemy artillery. Good quick climb here. 120 odd Gurkhas destroyed. That's convinced the enemy to attack us. Let's get my Lee's Legion up top. Cavalry attackers are pushing up on the flank. Pindari horsemen. Now they've got quite far. My rangers. Close ranged musketry is going to deal with them. They're going after my line. Form square because that's Polygar coming in. Start to go after. And Darren Horseman are gone. Push my blank forward to get involved. You might have killed a bunch of your own guys, but we'll soon find out. Commit the cavalry to the pursuit. Enemy unit of Gurkhas defeated. One, one unit defeated in the centre. Another defeated on the flank. Good. Okay. Commit. Commit my cavalry into pursue and destroy. Fold the left flank of my army in. Artillery. Focus on engaging and defeating the enemy cavalry. Range. So that our lances should go down to the. Oh, 
Ooh, good quick line hit. Oh, the enemy general's bodyguards in the mix. Okay, right. Get you guys in. Make sure Lee's Legion fire and will is off. Attack the Pindari horsemen just to try to see if we can shatter them. We have pursue and destroy the pursue and destroy the route retreating infantry. They bring they don't want to bring my general in, not against these Gurkhas, but it looks like they are going down. Although alright, might be able to get my general on the move against some of these other chaps. Chase them down, so the Gurkhas won't be long for this world. Our Rangers can get up here and start trying to engage the enemy general's bodyguard. Howitzers switch to round shot, engage the enemy, the enemy artillery. Kill the enemy general, sir. Focus on the general's bodyguard at range. My infantry broke, but that's okay. Chase down those gherkins. You chase down these desert warriors. You chase down those gherkins. All my artillery engage the general's bodyguard to the rear. want to kill Gurkhas. Gurkhas are a great infantry unit. Is this speed up time? Because right now it is just a general's bodyguard running around. The gunners are also aware of the carnage that's ahead of them. They take a long time to route two, one. No, kill that last. Chat. Okay, he's dead. Go after foot artillery crew. Okay. Artillery engaged the sea musketeers. You run through here and attack this general's bodyguard unit. Got him. Okay, right, what I want to do, make sure. Artillery fire, ceasefire. All of you men fire well off. sure everybody is gainfully employed. You're in against that last Islamic swordsman. So my general Never gonna get that on peasantry, but you might be able to get the gherkins. So you come over here. I think they gherkins are outed. That's a shame, but still, lots of really good damage has been done to them. Kind of the exact sort of battle we really, really we wanted to fight. Whilst the enemy cavalry will still be alive, but their enemy, with well, the infantry contingent, will be very badly damaged. And their artillery almost entirely annihilated. Yeah, two and nearly 3,000 men down to 574. And they will 
Well, they should mostly be cavalry. Might have an armed peasantry in there. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, almost all cavalry. At the ready. Excellent work, M and J. Now advance and up towards them, ready go. for the next engagement. Your humble servant. You men are holding while well, you men are replenishing before you engage. That chap, we are going to demand the surrender of Kutak because there's no way they can hold it now. Get rid of the government building, Oscar Davis. Yes. Good. So let's recruit a sloop. I think these are ships of the line. They are indeed. Recruit a sloop. Well, I could just use these. A bit cheaper. Ready and waiting. Okay, let's pull the ships of the line out. To be honest, we really do need just to go and engage the last Maratha fleet. Let's go get them. They're really badly damaged, but we just don't want to lose any of our own ships. That would just be an expensive mistake. Right. Move forward in the same old style. Heavy's up front, first's behind, oh, Mr. Heavy, 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 first, 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 Admiral at the back of the firsts, my seconds, then my third. Reinforcement in the form of one of our sloops. Race force, oh no you don't. sail the rear of our line so I'm gonna wait till they get a bit closer and see what they do they might just randomly or well not randomly but just cut in towards us even if they go for the back of my line I've still got you know, some good ships confederacy the third rate ship of the line yeah if it got dangerous all I'll do is just kind of sloop this line around So they're all coming, getting out of position from just bobbing around. All of you, move in. With overwhelming force, just do it. Gonna get involved in a real messy melee here. Very nice of them to then decide that's when they want to turn in. Because then we can go whoop. Suddenly. Surprise! This poor old fourth rail line sucked up a lot of shots. Some of these heavy first rates keep sailing forward. Let's try to see if we can kind of it's like that. Really, is kind of what we want. Plenty of shots abound. Ramily is going to be in position soon. As is Hussar.
I'm making good progress, but I think my ships are not going to get into position well enough. I mean, I've got enough of them, right? Now, bear in mind, heavies are just really slow. So they're probably going to end up having to go like that if they want to shoot anytime soon. So, makes this first race gone around the front and I can start to get some of these wait until this line sort of advanced this direction and I can take some of the back end of this line and swing them in like so more shots in against Ganja Ganja's breathed in smoke This heavy first might be able to fire through the gap. Yeah, the third ganja, the third ratio of the line is not taken kindly to this punishment. Turning into me, they are. Oh, you're wavering, but you were. You were routing. The left. <laughs> your left broadside is very badly damaged. They're turning in. Right, these ships can take a bit more of an aggressive position now. You really been around. Don't want to venture by a broadside right with chain. Guns are reloaded. Pumper, oh, actually, you might do the same. Gaster. Abakirs, put some shots in. Down. Lots of these ships just start moving around to keep try and be able to fire into the enemy. Ganja's seen what's about to happen. Wait. Ganja's a nippy old soul. Fire round shot, you'll get some shots into her. Blink. Roll it, chain shot. Pump some, pump some shots into the second rate chip of the line. Foremast is gone. Come on, adventure. Put 
Let's see to Genja. You're just going to hold here. We'll deal with that ship. Sail ahead for the gap. Pivot. Rearmaster's gone. Gan just surrendered. This ship had surrendered. But now they have back. Sail forward into the stern of the bar. Surrendered. Good. Start pumping shots at that first reach of the line. You fire a chain. Just because those small ships don't like losing their masts. Even though even though you're surrendered. I'll just try and blast the rigging off with the chain. Oh well. Still, that is the end. I don't need any of their ships. Just cash them all in. Pull back to Colombo. Pull back to Colombo for repairs. Let's upgrade Pondicherry. The roads all look good. Okay, Lloyd Carter. March forward and engage. Some of these fragments of Maratha stacks. I'm um, not going to water as old just because of the damage they can do to this other army. Let's just engage them traditionally. I'm going to spend a bit of time clearing out this area around Berar because that is the. It's a real gap. It's a real gap we've got right now. At least it's a concentration of Maratha troops. Right, time for coffee. But yeah, it's a real um, concentration of Maratha troops that we need to kind of lance. And if we can deal with it and push them north, then we'll be in a really good position. Um, really cool position, but I don't think it's the best. So really, we want to hold our deployment. We need to hold the deployment of our troops in detail until we know when the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. What's blocking you then? Oh, it's this small ridge line. Very well. Take some of you, deploy you to the left of the ridge line. Take the remainder you ahead of this artillery. Hold a couple of units back plus my cavalry contingent. Okay, a couple of guys coming in on the left. We have our own reinforcements, it'll probably be the general. Ahead of us, General's bodyguard. No, nope. not today. Walk away. We're not heavy cavalry. We're not going to be interested. Oh yeah, here come more of the more of the enemy concentration. Of Forces. There we go, that's what we want. Simandari horsemen coming in, but they're not going to be a huge amount of help. Mm -hmm. 
hold where you are, wait until the time is right, then you'll go mop up some of these enemy artillery pieces. Say engage them. We probably want to try and hit some of these melee units before they get into our line. Gunners engage. A small general's bodyguard. Okay, we might not be able to continue the battle because it looks like one of their artillery pieces is stuck going to enter the field so if we continue the battle it will last forever there you go the dervishes let's commit my heavy cavalry to go attack this um this artillery unit especially when it looks like most of the other Reinforcements are not going to actually come in. We make it to our line. Nope. You fire at will against the horsemen, although they are on a slight death delayed. these guys forward so they're in a bit more they're in a bit of a better firing position all of my cavalry that aren't camels commit we killed the enemy general sir Maybe hit the dervishes first. This gun team just keeps shooting at the unit of dervishes. Just see how many kills we can get. Oh, well, ideal if they limber up. Oh, they're going to escape because they're going to retreat. Chips push forward. There we go. As they route as like, complete teams, they're a lot easier to wipe out. Line infantry push forward. And then, if they want to play play silly games, you can win silly prizes. You know, one thing we have to do is keep pushing our line up so they don't get too focused on trying to kill my cavalry. Then that way, that way lies madness. Something like that. Because they aren't withdrawing. So you, you, there is a special... Um, they do show that as their status if they are withdrawing. Eventually, they will reach a point where they go, you know what, actually, we can't retreat anymore, can we?
lob shots into the infantry block. Dervishes, armed peasantry, dervishes, dervishes. Okay, it's all a fairly predictable mix of troops. Mow them down. That's my general. Get him involved as well. Artillery. Ceasefire. Infantry ceasefire. One of you guys can come up with this unit of dervishes. You guys keep going after the armed peasants. Fire well off. I think we may want to not continue the battle though, because I think it's this over here, the gunner. Okay, howitzers, limber. In my infantry. March up to here. Two dervishes left. Just the one dervish, actually. You keep attacking the armed peasants, so you guys attack that lone dervish. Is move up. It's probably more difficult for my guns to get into the mix. Let's just speed up time a little bit. Get all my cavalry folks on trying to kill or help kill this armed peasantry. Okay, let's ready to form up a kill box. As if that isn't the last thing to come in, the heck I know there's going to be a lot of stuff. Well, there might be a lot of stuff coming in. All my cavalry still mowing down the peasants. We should be able to take... Uh, Yes, because they routed a different direction, we might get them. No, that clever swine. He, he managed to make it with one man left. Okay, yeah, let's bring the gunners. So for this kind of thing, you have to bring your uh, howitzers in. And attack ground, sure, and rely on the shot bouncing. And landing near it and killing them. So more artillery is best, because you can then rely on the... Just the, just the sheer likelihood of shells landing near the target. Um, but, you know, guns aren't bad. This, this amount is okay, especially if I get my guns here, because they, they, they've got a slightly longer target to hit. Because they have only just got to clip it. Because, yeah, by that point, you guys will definitely be in range. And Limber. They won't fire because they've not entered the field, so we have to target them. But we'd say, right, you guys... Pack ground here, just short. They'll attack ground, and hopefully. At some point, one of those shots might hit the artillery piece. Quick climb, I don't think he's as effective against limbered up horse teams compared to 
um, unlimbered horse teams where you can kill the crew. So just let them do their glorious work. Then we will... So close. But once we fill our toes up here, they'll also start the bombardment and then we will probably knock out the team. And if there is any more troops behind it, they'll come into our box of death. Okay. Unlimber. Again, the same thing. They won't attack unless we give them an order. So just give them an order to attack ground slightly short. First hit. Yes! First volley. Got him. There we go. Jobs are work. Jobs are good. So this time we know there wasn't any reinforcements coming in, but if there were, they would immediately start deploying. But there we go. 575 men remaining for that force there. So they do still exist. They are still scampering around as complete yep complete units but we are pushing them away from our territory and instead i think we want to recruit some mercenaries into this army just to give it a bit of bit of panache a bit of flair a bit of something different well really we want an artillery piece and a mercenary unit. There we go. Perfect. Like I knew what I was thinking. Make ready. Keith Cooper, go back and join Forward. up with this army, what? with this unit that was laying siege to the territory all by their lonesome. Uh, we might actually attack because it could draw this force in to help defend it. No, it doesn't. Okay. But you, you, you're pretty, you're pretty resilient. So let's go after. Actually, make sure there's no, no generals about. There is one. Let's see if we can assassinate him. Got him. Nice. What about? You can't quite reach. Okay, let's use Marlin Rose. Let's attack Arihant Kuvari. Again, we're going to fight it manually just because this army is so close. Although if we beat them, this army will probably be almost entirely destroyed. Then we can take the city. And that will be great. We've made a lot of made some good progress tidying up the Indian front. Because right now there's so many fragments of armies everywhere. It's difficult to actually. It's difficult to actually do anything about. Artillery is going to deploy behind the gun line because, well, behind my infantry line, because we do have an enormous superiority in numbers right now. So we don't need uh, my skirmishers and my elites on the right are going to have to advance up. Something like this. Get my cavalry deployed, ready to... No, you're not a very good cavalry unit, are you? Get my cavalry up, ready to try and chase. So all my artillery is going to blast that gun line. shot as well. Blasting us with shrapnel. Push forward into musket range. If we loiter too long at range, we will surely die. 
new men's get into, new men get into position to try and flank that Bajir infantry, front cavalry. Get up here at speed. Yes, you can try and engage us, but we're going to be ready to engage you. The general has been killed. We got a massed musketry into this block of troops. Drop my men into squares. Push forward, Mena. And the general over here to help with the pursuit. The grenadiers in here. Artillery, all of you ceasefires. You kill that alone, gunner. This small unit's gonna effectively try to pick off the artillery crews. Until my general gets over here, although my regiment of horse has given up the chase. So long, mon general. to run and gives my general a chance to flee, my regiment of horse a chance to catch up. Good. We're not going to really try catch up to the camel gunners, but probably not going to get them. You're going to get the artillery then, though. We are going to continue, and you're going to chase down the Bajir infantry. Ceasefire, everybody. Ooh. I'm going to over here and kill the Sikh Musketeers. Try to kill the Sikh Musketeers. Very nice work over there. You're doing a pretty good job against the Bajir infantry. The Sikh Musketeers are the priority because they are just a they're they're a much better infantry unit. And I think actually the enemy are going to lose the ability to recruit Sikh Musketeers. Actually, I think they, they already have lost them actually. they've only got they don't have any major cities left with barracks to actually recruit them so that's quite a significant significant qualitative loss let's try help this weak cavalry unit kill the armed citizenry over here because you are going to yeah, you killed them you've killed the Bajir infantry there you go make sure they're ungrouped Otherwise, they have really weird pathfinding if we're trying to chase down units. Very nice. Decisive exactly is exactly the word we want to see. Hopefully, the army is destroyed. 40 men remaining. Oh, obviously, they still, still survive. Marlon Rose, reinforce. Marlon Rose, take over the siege. Keith Cooper can push out and auto resolve these guys. Get rid of them. Kill them. Kill them all. And try cover the crossing. New men. It's another army. Move you up. Any further orders? Okay, recruiting artillery piece. Okay, I might just cancel that. 
and just get it to march out and join the army because I will forget. I'm wishing you guys can go out and deal with them. It's only a unit of mercenaries. So we can just chop them up. Guard the crossing. Make sure Medabad is recruiting another batch of company line. Okay, you. Okay, these. Frustrating having all these armies sat here together. If you had a garrison, I'd push you out northwest towards Naroon. You can see where they are just spilling down from Zahedan. Um. Your orders? You're going to reinforce before you push on towards Lahore. Make ready. Plan your green, go out and attack Abhe Bata. Just, just to get rid of them. So Nathaniel Green march up to Srinagar. Ooh, ooh, whew, thank god that's these guys are enough. Okay. You can catch up to Rustam Chenamaseti. Chena yeah, they're going to go. Or they're not. Or at least, if nothing else, they're going to retreat into range of Cloudsley Cockburn. Because these guys are going to have... These guys have lots of turns anyway to catch... To, um, to replenish. You're going to push up towards that crossing. It's going to take you some time. Carl Bradley, replenish. And I want you to crush, push up to this crossing... To start to block the avenues that the enemy can use to cross over into this part of the world, I think. I think that's the way to go. Surat, recruit the sloop. We don't need a naval hospital at Port Bandar. Ready and awaiting orders. Okay, you get ready to move up towards Ahmedabad. Church school here. We're dismantling the government building. We've got plenty of troops around here. If they, if these guys want to, hopefully they consolidate. Hopefully. Uh, right. But I think that's everything we want to do in India. In Europe, then. You're going to reinforce while we, <laughs> before we take Turin. Uh, Genoa. We went after Genoa. They hate us and they're allied with all of our enemies anyway, but it might bring the Italian states and Venice into the fight, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay, we could very much do with an army in Tunis growing. So we can well, attack Malta, take it out, then push on and land in Naples. Um, you've landed up here. I think we've done everything we want, we can do in Europe. It was India that was, that was our tidying up session for this episode. Let's hit end turn and let's watch the enemy respond. Oh, I don't know where this is happening. Spain is doing Spanish things. You can see it looks like they really are pumping troops out of Warsaw. Because they are just... Uh, I'm going to fight it manually. I don't want to lose a lot of troops to this. I want this army to be as in good a shape as possible to advance eastward and lay siege to Venice. So... Auto-resolve is probably a bad idea. that clever. There's only one unit of infantry plus a unit of cavalry. Especially with our super artillery battery. Holy moly. Super howitzer battery. <laughs> yeah. Don't have to be clever. Howitzers shoot at the 
power to shoot at the infantry. Everybody just get ready to deploy. <laughs> power to shoot the infantry um, and foot artillery shoot at the cavalry. May God have mercy on your souls. Commit the cavalry. We're going to continue, but we might not make it. Should really have waited to get them closer. Make sure my guys that can shoot don't shoot. Oh yeah, they're going to make it. <laughs> Still, I'll take that. Boom. Too bad, some of them survived. Uh, yikes, do the same again. <laughs> I mean, if you want to feed them in peace fe in piecemeal towards me, Austria, you know, we can make that, we can do this. This is okay for me. God, why do you do this? Just set up the artillery. Just, just the artillery. Although I need to make sure batteries of different sizes don't necessarily spread out quite well. If you let me have freebies, I'll keep taking them. Oh, they died. Cool. But yeah, it looks like they did. Warsaw is definitely a... Their, it's, it's their main centre of unit production. Let's see if they go... If they fancy going after Hungary. Because every time they don't, you know, that's another full unit of infantry I'm getting. And it's a turn close towards being fully replenished. So they're fortifying, well, not, well, they're massing around Prague. We're not going to let them have that breathing space that they want. Withdraw! Yeah, you can evict us from the territory if you like. Austria st <laughs> not stealing technologies, it's just popping in to see what's going on. Genoa. I was supposed to say Genoa will die, but as will Hanover. Go on, Prussia, we're going to force you to pick a side. Who do you back? They back us. Excellent. But they still can't quite work it out. <laughs> They're still very unsure. So we will be at war with Russia soon enough. Once we've pushed up through to hit um, Persia or the Persian border, we will then, that's when we'll start declaring war on Russia. Yeah, see, they are just crossing the river. That's right. Mass together in one place. I don't mind if you raid. You can raid as much as you like. You can raid till the cows come home, because it's not going to save you. So I think next turn we'll be able to siege Lahore and destroy the Punjab faction. Or we will be... Well, right now we're two turns away from attacking Srinagar. And it's possible that if we take Barar and Srinagar, that the Maratha faction uh, is destroyed and becomes Afghanistan. But I don't know if that's just Persia rather than 
any faction that controls those regions. I don't know. It might just be Persia. <laughs> Russia's running lots of troops around in the middle of their empire. I can feel it. The yeah, tendrils are coming closer to the heart of Moscow. There is a limit to what they can do to protect themselves from the inevitable slaughter. Okay, let's sort out the building work first. Any raids, raids, raids. I mean, I will upgrade the roads. Even though it helps the enemy as well, I'll upgrade them. Because if I don't, I will forget. Keep on upgrading. Dijon upgrades with theatre. Nice. That's everybody. Um, I mean, I can auto you. Get you off of my back. Probably auto you. Well, almost certainly auto you. Victory. By the left, march. Okay. March. We are mighty and nice. nice and tidy. Sir. Okay, so I've got Berar still to deal with. Advance up the road towards them. Enforcements push up to there. Okay, you're in great shape to attack Mr. Bonzia. Ev and Jay still replenishing, but they could probably deal with both these armies. To be fair. Okay, you troops. These troops combine with those. Homer. You're... Cannons are on their way. Harvesting supplies. Okay, well yes. now you're ready. You're going to push towards and the west. Sir. Keith Cooper is going to push up towards these two towns to help support them. Sir. Loudly Cockburn, you have your marching orders. Osbert McDowell. Is almost certainly going to attack Lahore. They have one mortar unit. Let's make sure we get you guys pushing on towards Srinagar. Okay. Let's try to sabotage the university so that when we capture it, it won't be causing any problems. Or as, as many problems. Did not work. Right. But I think what we want to do... Move you guys up into the right area take this force and attack actually yeah you guys attack that indian force there we'll drive them out they've done some consolidation um because some of these units are actually in really in reasonable condition but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for more tidying up in india but we have very much broke the camels back here we are we are so close just to sweeping through the Middle East. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.